you know, the anxiety piece that you mentioned and, uh, you know, how the importance of breathing through the nose for the brain to function properly. And the minute that mouth pops open, it's as if you put a blindfold on the brain. It's not getting the sensory input that it needs. It's preparing to run because when we're about to run, our mouth will pop open and we, you know, we have that air hunger uh, and yet nothing's actually happening. And so these mm -hmm. children, their bodies are in a stress state. And, uh, you know, I've gone through this with one of my children who was constantly, I, I always described him like his volume was on max. <laughs> and, um, you know, They're, I called him my little Hulk because you never knew when he was going to go off, you know. Right. They're either on <laughs> or off. And they're on like an Energizer off. Bunny, these children. And then they hit the, they, when they crash, they yeah. just, they shut down instantly or they melt down. And they melt down at inappropriate ages and times, you know, when they should and have grown out of that. Yes, it's just, yeah, because you figure by now, come on, you know, pull it together. Um, but I kept knowing what I know, I kept pushing, pushing, pushing for more appointments and more tests and more studies. It turns out that my son experienced birth trauma. He was a precipitous delivery. Ten and a half pounds came out just bam. Wow. He broke his, broke his nose on the way out. Oh, bless his little heart. 